Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Red Dragon Gaming Essentials keyboard and mouse 2-in-1 set. The main reason I got this keyboard is because the keys light up. It's supposed to be high speed, high control, and high response. It's meant for gaming. Some of the key features in, for this keyboard is that it has 22 multimedia keys and switchable backlight colors. So that's something that I'm gonna be messing with in a little bit. It has your standard keyboard with your keypad here, your number keypad. It has 10 shortcut keys on the top with 12 multimedia FN keys right below it. It has five modes of color backlight. You can adjust the backlight brightness and you can also adjust the backlight running speed. And one of the other features that I really liked about this particular keyboard is that the keys are engraved, so you're not gonna wear them out. The mouse itself has a 7200 DPI, 10 million click durability. So this is it's meant to last for a while. So let's open this baby up, see what we have inside. If you're in the market, please check the link on the description below. I do have a link to a keyboard very similar to this one. Let's open up the keyboard. It comes with a little manual here. Everything, it's a pretty decent sized manual for a keyboard. Got your little um, decal. And the keyboard itself. I like that it pops out a little bit. The keys are all popping out. So far, so good. Here are your, your keys on top. Here are your FN keys right here. You have your, your number pad over here, your regular, your regular keys right here. Now, these are wired. I was looking for a wireless um, backlit keyboard, but it occurred to me that there's not going to be many, if any, because they will end up uh, draining your batteries pretty quick. So the only drawback between a, a uh, backlit keyboard is that you're going to have to have it wired. Let's uh, load this baby up and uh, see what it can do. Okay, so the very first thing I notice is that as soon as you connect it, it worked. Nothing needed to be downloaded. Everything was just automatically just started working. By pressing FN and insert, that puts your backlight keyboard in a gradient mode. And in this one, the backlight changes gradually uh, from red to yellow to green to cyan to blue to purple to magenta. The next setting is a single color, which is uh, the FN plus home. FN plus home. So that's gonna keep it one color. Press it again. You have, that was blue first, now red, now green, purple, yellow. It's a cyan, white, and we go back to blue. The next one is a static RGB mode. And this one's uh, by clicking FN and page up. So three different color modes depending on which one you want. The blue starts over here on this one. The red starts over here. And the green starts over here. The next one is called the, the running and neon light. In this mode, uh, it's red, blue, and green colors is by pressing FN and delete. <laughs> there you go. On the next mode, we're looking at the breathing backlight. So for this one, we click on FN and end. And if you don't want any of these color options out, if you just want it without any color in the background, you go ahead and turn it off by clicking the um, FN and page down. That completely turns it off on your keyboard. So those are your different modes. So if we go back to the breathing mode, which is FN and end, you can change the how fast or how slow it, it uh, breathes by pressing FN and your arrow buttons left and right. So I'm gonna slow it down here. That's about as slow as it's gonna breathe. And then we can speed it up by pressing the right arrow key. 
You can also increase or decrease the brightness of your of your, the lighting by pressing Fn and 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 uh, up arrow or decreasing it by pressing Fn and down arrow. So let's focus our attention now on the uh, mouse. This one right here is your left mouse button. This one over here is your right mouse button. The middle one is a scroll to scroll. These side ones is forward and back. And then this middle button here changes your uh, DPI settings between the, the ones we mentioned, the 800, the 1200, the 1600, the 2400, and the 7200. This middle one right here. Let's take this baby for a little test drive. Just a quick Google search. Good response. The mouse has a really good response. All right, so if you are wondering what that uh, DPI setting is, that essentially what that DPI setting is, is uh, how fast your mouse is gonna respond to your movement. Um, if it goes up to the 7200, it's gonna be very sensitive. And this is primarily for those who are uh, in gaming that need that response, that quick response. But if you're not gonna be using it for gaming per se, or you're using it for something else while not gaming, you might wanna bring down that, uh, that response so that it's not as sensitive as it is uh, at 7200. The lowest setting is is a pretty laggy response. I wouldn't say the word laggy. At the lowest setting, it's it's uh it drags a little bit. It doesn't lag. It drags. And the on the second setting, on the blue one, it's a little bit more of your normal use. It has real good response, but it's not overly sensitive. On the green setting, it's a little bit more for those of you who are a little bit quicker with the hand-eye coordination. And of course, the maroon, I mean, the purple one and the yellow, the yellow one's gonna be like the very sensitive setting. So to me, for my comfort, I'd probably go with uh, with green. Seems to be like a good, uh, I guess you would call it the right, the middle ground for any non-gaming um, usage for this, for this uh, mouse. All right, guys, I hope you like this review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, but, um, Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.